how does the staff work at Gateway Church? What are we saying that we prioritize with the way in which we staff? Who's even on the staff team? All this and more coming at you now. Let's talk about our staff at Gateway. If you go to gatewaychurchmn.com, you can navigate to the Who We Are tab and look for a spot called Our Team. On that page, you'll see our staff team, including me, Pastor Teresa, who leads our youth and children's ministries, our office manager, Julie, she's the one that keeps us in line, worship coordinator, Callie, our connections coordinator, Amanda, and our events coordinator, Jessica. We also recently hired Alicia Olmsted as Director of Development, but more about her role in just a minute. The goal of our staff team is really simple. It's to help execute our mission, which is to follow Jesus and help others do the same. Now, each person on our team plays a critical role in that mission. And so let's talk more specifically about their roles and about how they fit into the bigger picture. Let's start with Pastor Teresa. She leads our family ministry areas, which is our youth ministry and our children's ministry. Her responsibilities include staffing with volunteers, planning, organizing, and executing our program on Sunday morning for children birth through fifth grade, as well as our youth group on Wednesday nights. That's from sixth through 12th grade. In addition, she also helps out and organizes and leads our child care initiative during our 1230 life group time, as well as a few other things in, included in that process. Now, Pastor Teresa's role is so important because the lives of students are so important, students and kids. There's so much change that happens. One of the things that I love is that we have a single person leading that entire area. And so there's consistency from birth all the way until you graduate high school. Now, it's a good thing that she's got 12 years of experience running both youth and children's ministries. Julie's been at Gateway for a very long time. She serves as our office manager. Her responsibilities include the secretarial portion of running our front office, as well as bookkeeping responsibilities in conjunction with our finance team. Callie is all things creative. She leads our worship arts department. Uh, you probably have seen her on stage from time to time as well leading worship. She coordinates our other worship leaders as well as the other members of our worship uh, bands. In addition, she's responsible for our sound and all of the production elements of what goes into a Sunday morning. Side note, she also is pregnant with her first baby. For Amanda, it's all about connections and groups. In the group side, she's responsible for the administration of our small groups, for making sure they have everything that they need, making sure that everything is coordinated properly, getting things like curriculum out to group leaders and so on and so forth. And then on the connection side, she runs a portion of our ministry called Audacious Compassion. What we do is proactively reach out to all of the people that are associated with Gateway to just see, hey, how can we pray for you? How can we love you? Is there a way that we can help support you along your journey? And so uh, you may have heard her call you before. Uh, that's absolutely on purpose, and that is what she's responsible for. Jessica, or as she's affectionately known on the staff team, Sarge, is all about getting stuff done. She serves as our event coordinator, and so everything from weddings, funerals, uh, ministry events such as Connect Nights or even things like Harvest Festival, those all fit underneath her area of responsibility to make sure that they get done and get done well. And let me tell you, she gets stuff done. Now let's talk for just a minute about Alicia. Her role is Director of Development, and that is a little bit of a unique role in a church setting. Let's talk about what she does. Her responsibilities include helping to develop people within Gateway Church, regardless of ministry area, regardless of if they serve, where they serve, to help them really take the next step or the next steps in their walk with Jesus. Now we call those steps, at least on the staff team, we call them milestones. And in life, you have a lot of different milestones, whether it's accepting Jesus for the first time, uh, choosing to get baptized, uh, sacrificing an area of your life, confessing sin, whatever it might be, all of those things are milestones. And so Alicia, her role is to come alongside, to coach, to help guide, to help encourage, to give the right tools, to help you and people like you take the next step in their journey with Jesus. 
Our particular focus, at the least at the beginning, is going to be on people in leadership positions, making sure that they have the tools they need as well. But she's been on the staff now for a couple of months, and we are so excited about what she's going to help us accomplish as a church. Now, we have one more really exciting staff announcement to make today, and that is the hiring of Peter Mayhew as our associate pastor. Now, Peter comes to us from uh, a church in New Brighton, Minnesota. He's been pastoring there for the last five years, and his responsibilities will really be twofold, although he'll have some other small responsibilities as well. On the one side is going to be teaching. He's going to teach um, frequently on Sunday mornings, probably once a month or so. In addition, he's gonna help support our teaching ministry on Wednesday nights, uh, youth group, as well as some even in our uh, children's ministry with our older students. He's gonna be responsible for curriculum writing, as well as additional content, uh, additional materials to help you, again, grow in your faith. He's a skilled teacher, loves the Lord deeply, and that side of what he does is gonna be phenomenal. The other side of what he's gonna be responsible for is overseeing our missions areas. So both our global missions as well as helping to support our local outreach opportunities as well. We're so excited to have him on the team. Now, Peter is going to start officially on November the 1st. However, we're gonna have an opportunity for you to meet him ahead of time on October 29th. After second service, uh, we're gonna have a meet and greet where you'll get a chance to meet him and meet his family, his wife Bree, as well as their four boys. And so I hope that after second service on the 29th, you'll make some time to come join us and to meet Pastor Peter. Now, why is it that we staff the way that we do? Well, let's take a couple of minutes and talk about priorities. Effective ministry requires collaboration. Here's what I mean. A couple different ideas within this area. First of all, a lot of times in ministry, it's easy for ministries, individual ministries, to become silos. What I mean is, say, the children's ministry might not communicate well with the youth ministry. Now, in our context, that doesn't apply because Pastor Teresa oversees both areas. But I've seen this kind of thing happen. One area doesn't communicate well with another. One person might be serving in one space and that, you know, others aren't aware of it and that person might get burned out or whatnot. It can really become a big problem. Our goal is to be a collaborative work environment, which is why, and this leads to the second point, we have many ministry leaders on our staff team that are going to cross ministry area lines. Now here's, let me explain that a little bit. Alicia's role is probably the easiest to explain it with. Alicia, who's developing people, helping them grow, is not tied to one particular ministry area only. She's gonna be developing people that are small group leaders, as well as youth volunteers, as well as children's ministry uh, support team, as well as those that help out on the greeting team, and so on and so forth. It really doesn't matter where you are, the idea is a consistent way of growing. And when we can collaborate well, as we already do with Alicia, and as I suspect will continue to happen, that's only gonna become better. Effective ministry requires collaboration in the world that we live in. Now, the second priority is simply this, that ministry is more than programs. Now, we wanna run effective and excellent program, Sunday morning, kids ministry, whatever it might be. We wanna do well with our programs. However, life change happens outside of programs as well. And so our goal, what we're trying to accomplish is to create an environment where you are being discipled, where you're being poured into, where you're being supported and cared for well, and you have the greatest opportunity to grow in your relationship with Jesus, to follow Him and help others do the same. And sometimes that doesn't just happen on Sunday morning. Sometimes it doesn't just happen with events and this and that and the other. Again, we wanna do those things well, but the reason that we staff the way we do is because we recognize that the journey is more than just the program, but rather it's about being life on life with each other. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my email address is jeff at gatewaychurchmn.com. I look forward to hearing from you. And hey, again, would love for you to join us on October 29th as we welcome Pastor Peter.